connoisseur. These are confessions of a lifestyle connoisseur. These are confessions of a lifestyle connoisseur. I'm pretty sure you never felt this kind. It was shaking. It's Mr. Cab Cabernet lifestyle connoisseur. Enjoying infinite peace. Listen, never be afraid to go broke. If you're on your purpose, you got a mission, you want a, you want a mission to achieve greatness, success, whatever it is, never be afraid to go broke. This is what separates the winners from the losers. All right. There's a saying called, you, you've heard, you, we've all heard the saying, go for broke, right? Go for broke doesn't mean go try to get broke, right? It sounds like that, but go for broke means go for it. Even if I go broke trying to get it, right? Uh, 50 Cent said, get, get rich or die trying. It's the same thing, same mentality. This mentality, nothing's gonna stop the show. The show must go on. Nothing can stand in your way. This is the only way to achieve greatness, success, your goals, whatever it is you're trying to get because, and that's why there are very few uh, winners and, and, and so many losers because most people are afraid to take these types of chances. You know, the entrepreneurial mind and spirit is um, you you can't you can't be an entrepreneur without without that spirit in mind, you know what I'm saying? Go for broke. You have to actually. It's necessary to go broke sometimes. I got an associate um, that uh, in my consulting firm. I've been trying to get him a loan for like the last month, and um, he doesn't have a high enough credit score or business revenue to get a business loan. So I said, look. You got this house. It's worth, you know, over 300 k We could put up the house and uh, get you this money you need. Uh, you know, at first he was with it, and then he pulled back. Like, I'm, I'm, I'm afraid to lose the house. What if I lose the house? I'm like, my man, why are you worried about losing the house? You got a good plan, right? You say you're serious about getting this, getting this, this paper for this business. Forget about, like, stop worrying about the house. You're more worried about losing the house than you are about winning and completing your goals, you see? And that's the losing mentality. Now, broke is not to be compared with, it's not the same as, as, as poor. So look, don't get that confused. Broke and poor are two different, entirely different things, okay? Broke people, when you're broke, okay, and, and, you're, and you're on your purpose, it's necessary sometimes to go broke. Because when you when you don't have what you need, it creates it creates you know the energy to go out and get it. You need you need to you need to feel you know that that scarcity and that lack, and that creates this drive. You know what I'm saying to go get it because you got to get it, right? You got to know what it feels like to be broke, so that you can enjoy being rich broke as an entrepreneur if you study any any self-made millionaire they all went broke numerous times numerous times and then they hit it because they weren't afraid to fail no more if they did it if they failed nine times in a row and the tenth time they hit it because they kept going they kept going and, and they weren't afraid to fail so they kept failing but they learned throughout those failures and then created a w right now that's necessary that's necessary, right? As an entrepreneur, as a business person, somebody trying to achieve their goals. Now, being poor is totally different. Poor is a mind state. It's a mind state in a, in a, in a mindset. 
poor people are not just broke. See, broke is temporary for the hustler. A poor person will always be poor because they have a poor mindset. They have poor habits. They have poor work ethic. They have poor understanding of things, how things work, what it takes to get things done. They're lazy. They have excuses. They blame everybody else for their issues. They, um, they, they give up too easily. These are poor people. So you're going to be broke and poor if you're poor. But you'll, you'll never get rich because the way you think this is flawed. This is Mr. Cab Cabernet, lifestyle connoisseur. And if you don't know by now, crushed grapes is a lifestyle. See you at the top. Sip it slow. Cheers. These are confessions of a lifestyle kind of sore. These are confessions of a lifestyle kind of sore. I'm pretty sure you never felt this kind of.